Today, Springfield College hosted its Western Massachusetts Diversifying the Education Workforce Summit. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith was there and has how and has how diversity can impact the workforce. Lack of diversity and representation in the education workforce can negatively impact students in the classrooms. And to ensure a more diverse environment for all, the Western Massachusetts Diversifying the Education Workforce Summit brought educators, policymakers, and community leaders to Springfield College to discuss the many ways to make schools more diverse and inclusive. Valerie Anir says when it comes to education, students need to see and be taught by teachers that look like them. Every child deserves to um, experience uh, at least more than one year in their schooling with someone who, who represents their community and their population. We know from research that this actually supports student learning. Um, it, it supports uh, the, the building of community. It supports their belonging. The National Education Association says that American public schools have diversity in the student population, but not so much in the teaching force. The association says despite efforts to recruit and retain teachers of color, the teaching workforce remains predominantly white. And Leah Tuckman with Great Schools Partnership says this event allows educators and organizers in the community to come up with ways to work towards diversity in the classrooms. Some of those ways include offering support to aspiring educators and focusing on recruitment and retaining efforts. We can do the best hiring in the world. We can hire the best, most diverse teacher population. And if we can't retain our teachers of color, nothing else matters. If we can't create a safe, brave space for them to feel comfortable, for them to feel like they're doing good work, it, it doesn't matter if we hire well. Working for you, Kiara Smith, 22 News.